there are thousands of Belizeans across the length and breadth of this country that have was they were registered to vote. They have their social security card, but because they are unable to get their their new um, birth certificates, they can't re-register. Here we're going to have a, a very important uh, referendum on the 10th of April to decide whether we go or not to the ICM, to the ICJ. Something that is um, an existential threat to this country. And then we have thousands of Belizeans that cannot get their documents so that they can register. Betomala comes immediately. And like Betomala, there are thousands of people down south that they can't get their birth certificates. For a person down south to come to Belize to get their birth certificate, it costs them a lot of money and time. For them to get early in the morning on a bus, come and try to get breakfast, get in the line. People are out here in the line from before 6 o'clock in the morning to try to get inside. And they want to get inside and they tell you you have to come back. And when you come back, they can't find the documents. This is unacceptable. The government even changed the law for them to have more control over vital stats. And that is very worrisome when the politicians are trying to get their hands as to what is taking place at vital stats. Many, many, the, the, the Attorney General, whilst he, his name is not there, but the, the person in charge now reports directly to the Attorney General. The point we're trying to make here is that all of a sudden now people can't get their documents. What the hell is going on? Why can't our people get their birth certificates? This, again, is another example of the competence of this government. Nothing is working in this country. You can't get on a scholarship. You can't get your, house, your, your, your land papers. A lot of people right now are trying to buy their land from the Ministry of Natural Resources, their houses that they got under the PUP, and then can't get them done their, their title. And we're going to spend millions of dollars on a an, on an, um, referendum for the ICJ, and people then won't be able to vote because they can't get their birth certificates? with thousands of people being disenfranchised in this manner, um, do you expect to ramp up what's happened here today? Well, of course, it is the first step. I mean, we have to bring it up in the National Assembly. We have to continue to bring to, um, this to the attention of the media for what is going on. You listen, you are can't conceive what it is to wake up in Punta Gorda or in a village in Punta Gorda before 4 o'clock in the morning to be able to catch a bus, to come right here for people that are barely making ends meet, for them to spend $30 to come here to apply for a birth certificate and then to have to come back again and still not get a birth certificate. Okay. Man